Hey everyone, it's Bianca with Lotus Siri Designs and today I want to quickly take you through how I created this colorful finish on this French provincial chest. As always, I like to start with a before shot, so this is the bones that I am working with. After proper prep, I went ahead and I added two coats of terracotta, which is a nice orange shade by Dixie Belle. Once my base coat was laid and dried, I was able to start the blending process. If you've watched my videos before, you do know that I like to stipple when I blend, which is what you see me doing here. To create this finish, I am using three different colors. I am using terracotta, peony, and kernel mustard. I start by adding a little bit of paint to the end of my synthetic mini brush by Dixie Belle. For this technique, a little bit of paint will go a long way, so try not to overload your brush. Once my paint is loaded onto my brush, I begin to stipple, which is to tap it on to the surface of my piece. I alternate my colors between the three that I am blending, and I am also using Dixie Belle's Best Dang brush to blend. What is going to give me that smooth, blendy, ethereal look will be when I use my Best Dang brush to blend, I do spritz my canvas with a little bit of water and then swirl the brush around so that the paint blends into the next layer or color of paint until it gives me more of a cloudy-esque type of feel. I do this throughout the entire front of the piece and toward the end you'll see that I even go back through and do a little bit of touch-up blending in the areas I feel it needs. For the sides, as well as the top, I simply carry my technique around the piece. Insert life here. This is my husband showing off an epoxy project he created. <laughs> Silly boy, just couldn't help himself. All right, so let's get back to the finish. For this next step, I am going to colorize the details that are on the front as well as the legs of this piece. Notice my plate and my brush. I put two colors side by side and I am loading the brush in between the two colors so that each side of my brush gets a little bit of each color. As I paint the leaves, you'll notice that the color is giving me a nice blend. If you're going to try this technique, make sure not to overwork the paint as to not make your blend muddy. Now I begin work on some of the flowers. Notice how my paintbrush is loaded with two shades of blue. I repeat the process as I did for the leaves on some of the flowers. Here's a closer look of how I am painting the flowers using that dual loaded brush. Though I don't show it, I do repeat this process for all of the flowers and decorative details on the piece. I use a combination of different colors to make this piece pop. For my next step, I am using Dixie Belle's Sandbar to highlight the trim. I chose this light taupe color as opposed to a bright white because I did not want the trim to compete with the flowers. One trick for getting straight lines when using this technique is to keep a wet rag by your side and wipe down the edge where the paint bleeds over. And here she is, all complete. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've learned something today, please use the links in the description to make your purchase for these amazing products. 
And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.